day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I've got a, a trace file here and I thought, uh, hey, you know what, let's go through it. This is one that we use every once in a while in my uh, presentations and classes. And it's a very interesting scenario. It's an HP printer and it uh, used to be on 10 meg Ethernet and then got upgraded, well, it didn't get upgraded, the switch got upgraded and an old hub became a 10100 switch and now the printer is 100 meg. So I wanted to show the client how 100 meg was not buying him much. So here's the anatomy of the connection. So we got our good old SIN SIN ACK. This is my machine, 146, sending a print job to the printer, 10, 10, 10. So I can see my three-way handshake. I'm just going to resize this, see if I can make this a little better. Well, that made it a little worse. So I'm going to make the font just a little smaller, and I'm going to try resizing that. And I'm manually going to drag this over. That's better. So this is my three-way handshake and my TCP packet. So that's my maximum segment size. This is a window scaling option, which makes your window size bigger. And then good old selective acknowledgments is permitted. And now my printer, I can see his window size is 5840, and the maximum segment size is 1460. And that's really important, because I'm sending the data to the printer. So I'm more concerned about his window size, because he's the guy who's going to control flow. He's going to do flow control. So my sin, his ACK and then his sin and my ACK. So we're all done. We're good to go. Well, here comes the data. Big old fat packet from me to him. And you can see the TCP length is 1460. Obviously, I filled it up. Another packet. And the printer acknowledges those two packets. And at this point, he's updated his window size, saying, hey, my window size is 5840. So if we do the math, 5840 is 1460 once, twice, three, and four times. And you can see Wireshark here says, hey, the window's full, which means I've sent as much data as the printer has asked for. And then at that point, we get an ACK. The printer acknowledges. And we can see here a little bit of data, and then another acknowledgment from the printer itself. And what's important to understand here is that the window size has gone down to 1460. So I'm not going to be able to do too much because um, I've seen many times that when the window size becomes the same as the maximum segment size or less, then nothing happens. So I'm going to wait for him to update it. Oh, here he is. He updated it. 2920. Well, that's two packets. So data, data. Oh, window full. See that? Wireshark is saying you've sent as much as he's asked for. And then he acknowledges it. And again, another two packets and so on and so on and so on. So we see the printer's uh, buffer. Uh, kind of collapsing, getting a little smaller to two packets. And what's important to note here is that when he does acknowledge it, this is the printer's acknowledgement, it's 136 milliseconds. And the next time he sends an acknowledgement, it's 28 milliseconds and 53 milliseconds. These are all fairly big numbers uh, because on 100 meg Ethernet, you can send these packets out literally less than a millisecond. So I can see that the majority of the latency is from the printer. Now the million dollar question is, how much throughput is this? Is it 10 meg? Is it 100 meg? Um, and that's really important to figure out. So we're going to do this the easy way. Statistics, IO graphs, and there's my IO graph from Wireshark. I'm just going to stretch this out for you. And right now you can see that the unit is packets per tick. Well, I want to use bytes. Oh, you know what? Bits per tick. Let's because we're network guys. So bits per tick tick is one second so this is bits per second so now if we come over here and we do the old count one two three one two three that's 2.5 meg and these increments are 500 K so 2.5 2 meg 1.5 1 meg and then 0.5 so this guy let's just call it 750 K and that's what we're getting here and that's because of that window size limiting the amount of data I can send to the printer and then consequently or additionally the acknowledgments from the printer are coming out relatively slow as well. The other thing that would I probably want to look for to see if the TCP window size on the printer goes all the way to zero which effectively the printer is saying don't send any more data. The easiest way to find that is to use a simple search. We're going to do control F for find packet and I can literally type win equals zero and I can use that as a string search and I can search that in my list and go. 
and there you go so there's win equals zero and you can see at this point the data was coming through and there's all this stuff going on and then finally the printer again is saying hey it's enough well I say probe Bink. kinda like giving him a little little shot and he says hey I said zero so you can see here that the latency time is 300 milliseconds, 400 milliseconds, 780, and, and we're well into the seconds now, or a second and a half, and you can see that it got all slowed down from the printer's perspective. And then things wake up, and I'm back to a 2920 window size, which is two packets, data, data, full, and then ACK. And then another 2920, data, data, ACK. So in this case, by increasing the bandwidth to the printer we've actually slowed it down um, I should take a trace and put the printer back to 10 meg to show you that at 10 meg it was getting about two or three megabits per second but when we went to a hundred meg the rate at which the data hit the printer increased causing the buffer to fill up quicker the printer could not keep up and we got a lot of these delays a lot of zero windows causing a performance problem with our printer. So there you go. I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you a little bit of that TCP window stuff and hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.